This is Chibok, where the kidnappings took place. In these pictures, which the BBC has obtained, the families of the girls are heading towards a highly emotional public meeting. Some of these girls, we're not showing their faces for their own protection, told their stories. They're the lucky ones. They were kidnapped but managed to get away. This one says the kidnappers told them, if you run, we'll kill you all. But I'd rather die running, she says, so I jumped over a wall and hid in a tree all night. The second girl says, they took us out and burned the school down. We were driven in ten trucks into the forest, but I escaped and ran and ran till I reached someone's house. In the capital, Abuja, one of the daily protest gatherings is beginning. The organizers of the Bring Back Our Girls movement believe the pressure here and abroad is shaking the Nigerian government out of its lethargy. Well, it's a sustained advocacy and efforts by everybody around the world, the way everyone had turned to look and see that this is not acceptable, ignoring an abduction of over 200 girls. I think that is primarily the pressure that is making the Nigerian government rethink the fact that they have ignored this issue initially. In fact, until just a few days ago, no real effort seemed to be being made at all. It was only earlier this week that a reward was offered for information about the girls' whereabouts. Now, though, the whole situation seems to be changing. Today it should have been a triumph for the Nigerian government. It's hosting the World Economic Forum here, and it's just overtaken South Africa as the continent's biggest economy. Instead, everyone was thinking about the missing girls. There was a minute silence for them. Has President Goodluck Jonathan been too preoccupied with the economy? Maybe. But when he spoke to the BBC today, he was clearly taking the problem seriously. Terror will not stop the world from moving. Terror will not stop Africa from moving. Terror will not stop Nigeria from moving. I believe with the assistance and investment we are making now, we'll be able to bring terror to, a re to an end in Nigeria. In Chibuk, Boko Haram scored a huge publicity coup with the kidnappings. But maybe it was too big. The attention it's had right round the world is forcing the government here to take action. John Simpson, BBC News, Abuja.